Only three weeks after the Winter Games in Pyeongchang, Samuel Girard hit the ice again this weekend to compete in the World Short Track Competitions in Montreal, winning silver in the 5,000 meter relay. This after taking home two medals from the Olympics, including gold in the 1,000 meters, the first Canadian to win that distance. Sam Girard joins us now in studio. Sam, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, and I just want to point out to everybody at home that not only did he bring his medals, but he brought them in the cases that they, I guess they're to protect them, and they're yep. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Sam, what was your favorite part of these Olympics? It was your first time. Um, I think it's uh, the overall of the Olympics, but uh, really meeting the athletes there, just uh, talking and just uh, having fun with the other athletes, uh, knowing about more uh, history and where they come from. Uh, it was really nice because uh, during the season, we had, don't have the chance to talk with the other athletes uh, yeah, in competition. So, uh, so much of Canada's um, speed skating history has been written by Charles Lamelin, and he had an amazing weekend as well. Yeah. First yeah. Canadian since 1998 to clinch the overall title at the World Championships. He took home two gold medals in front of his home crowd. Uh, he feels so good that he says he's not retiring anymore. He says he's going to spend another year mentoring younger athletes. What's your relationship like with him? Uh, me and Charles were pretty close. Uh, on the ice, we're a good teammate. Uh, he's like kind of my mentor on the ice, but he's also a friend of mine outside of the ice. Uh, I'm really happy he's still, he's still on the ice. He, like, he showed everyone he, he was the best skater in the world, and uh, he did it pretty well. And he has some good stuff to show to the people for the next year. And uh, he said, I will continue for one more year, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think he will continue more and uh, just show everyone what he can do. Well, we know what he's done so far in the Olympics. What are your long-term goals for the Olympics, for international competition? What do you want to achieve? Um, you know, Charles, a long-term career, a career, and I really want to prove like there's not only one athlete can do it. Uh, there could be uh, more than that for younger skater will come in the future. So uh, I really want to continue and show like uh, you can do something really. Uh, in long term in, in the short track, uh, you know, like it's tough to stay in the top uh, of the international and the, the Olympics uh, podium, but uh, really, I really want to, to show to the people it's possible. You know, uh, a lot of, for a lot of uh, athletes who go to the Olympics, it's uh, them and their team and their country. But you got to enjoy it in a very specific way that not everybody else does because your girlfriend is an Olympian as well, Kassam Khabradet, and she's here with us. Why don't you come on in here? Because uh, I'd love to ask both of you, thank you for both being here, congratulations, and thank you for everything that you've done for Canada. What was it like to enjoy this experience together? Uh, well, I think like uh, being at the Olympics together, we had the chance to, yeah, uh, being an Olympian, but also uh, uh, when I win my medal, uh, yeah, I cheering with Charles, but after that, my girlfriend was there because she was in the stands, so it was long to get it yeah. on, on, on the ice. But to make my way yeah. Yeah. To, make your to, way. to the rink. Yeah. When, 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 when he was uh, on the ice and he was going for the medal, how, how, no, you knew what the, sort of the stress of, that he's going through. How did you feel? Uh, well, I was nervous as usual, and yeah. as you can see, I have no more voice because yeah. this weekend was uh, a lot of stress. <laughs> but uh, I knew what he could do. Before the race, I went to see him. I just looked at him, I said, I told him, you know what you gotta do. And I wasn't just then nervous, but I was just, I, I knew what he could do. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so proud after. It was uh, all emotional, pride. Yeah. It was a really nice moment to share with him, but with all the team that's around us. Well, it's an honor to have you both here with us. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Congratulations, we look forward to following you in your careers. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.